5-axis CAM manufacturing processes, CNC milling design. Milling is the machining process of using rotary cutters to remove material from a workpiece by advancing or feeding in a direction at an angle with the axis of the tool. It covers a wide variety of different operations and machines on scales from small individual parts to large heavy-duty gang milling operations. It is one of the most commonly used processes in industry and machine shops today for machining parts to precise sizes and shapes. CNC is the advent to milling, which is the automation of machine tools that are operated by precisely programmed commands encoded on a storage medium, computer command module, as as opposed to controlled manually by hand wheels or levers or mechanically automated by cams alone. This mode gives a broad range of industrial processes that alter the surface of a manufactured item to achieve certain properties that may be improved appearance, adhesion or wettability, solderability, corrosion resistance, tarnish resistance, chemical resistance, wear resistance, hardness, modifying electrical conductivity, removing burrs and other surface flaws, control the surface friction or restore salvage or repair an item. Free access machining centers around moving a part in two directions. X and Y, and the tool moves up and down the Z axis. Five axis machining centers can rotate on two additional rotary axes, A and B, which help the cutting tool approach the part from all directions. To start, we have our .prt file modeled and ready to manufacture. We have created a cylinder to be the stock and a semi sphere to act as the variable contours drive method that will keep the tool's axis tangent within this sphere and we can enter into the Applications tab and enter into Manufacturing mode. From here, I have created three program groups by selecting the unused items and inserting program groups for a contour and multi-access program. I have named them Roughing, Semi-Finishing, and Finishing. Also, I have created my three tool bits for two end mills and a ball mill. And I've set my machining coordinate system and world coordinate system to an appropriate position. I've also defined my part geometry and blank. To begin, we will create cavity milling operations for the roughing and semi-finishing of the part, and then use a variable contour for the finishing method. Within the roughing program, and utilizing a roughing method. We will specify the check which is the stand, change the tool's axis, and change the pattern to follow periphery and enter into the cut levels. This tool's axis will mill the right side of Spider-Man's face, and we will give it a range and depth of half of the overall length. We can leave the cutting parameters default and enter into the non-cutting moves. Transfer and rapid to create a transfer and rapid type that is direct on the part. And we can optimize the feeds and speeds, but we will continue on. Now we can copy this operation and change the tool's access to manufacture the other side. And accept the operation. Now we can copy both of the first cavity mills into the smaller tool bit and change them to a semi-finishing method. And we can enter into the program's order and set the semi-finishing operations into the appropriate program group. And insert our variable contour operation on our ball mill within the mills multi-axis operation type with a variable contour method within the finishing program as a mill finish method. We will specify our cut area and change our drive method to surface area and specify our drive geometry, which will create these tool position tangent to this geometry, which we will select our semi-sphere. And select our cut direction to begin at the top of the component by clicking on the appropriate coordinate system. We will then set our cut pattern to be helical with a scallop step over 
with a maximum value of one millimeter and also for the vertical and horizontal limits. We will expand the more tab and create the cut step as a tolerance to be within one of a millimeter and accept the drive method. Now we will set the cutting parameters to create the maximum step as a constant of one millimeter per step, then enter into the non-cutting moves and ensure the transfer in rapid has an appropriate clearance, which it does of three millimeters with a bounding box clearance method. Then we can set the projection vector to be normal to the drive and the tool axis to be also normal to the drive so that the hemisphere tool bit and part are aligned tangently and accept the operation. Now we are ready to generate. Now we can accept the paths and verify the tool path with a 3D dynamic method. And now we can analyze the leftover material by showing the thickness of the material by color. Now reviewing several points. We are able to say there is an approximate tolerance of a millimeter, which adheres to most standards. And we would then be able to post-process our operations and toolpaths we have designed and import the G-code into the CNC machine to fabricate Spider-Man's head. Now we are able to import our machine by entering into the machine tool view navigator, selecting our generic machine, right clicking and editing it. We will then retrieve the machine from library as a mill, where we're given a large array of three to four to five access CNC machines. We will use a five access Fanuc mill gantry AC head machine and use the following parts as our part mounting and position the machine by constraints. We receive an information box that updates our pockets to correlate with the CNC machine's interchangeable tools. And we are now able to simulate the machine's operations with a 3D material removal.
end, as you can see, for variable contour operations imported into a 5-axis CNC machine that have customized tool bits. Do not display in the machine simulation, but they are clearly delivering the correct results to correspond to it. And that concludes our 5-axis computer numerically controlled tutorial.